like they they feel like and, it, and it's true man it's like i mean i i had a great manager brian butler was a great guy he was a massive part of my career for a long time but i mean ever since i got it over japan i've done it myself and it's just it's worked out better then there's just and it's not, no dig on any managers or anything it's just it's japan is much much more straight to the point with things and i think the minute that the managers get involved and things start going in circles they they got look we got nine other guys who will do this so i'm like do you want it or not you know now japan's a hard place to describe i've always tried to describe it to people living there you know as i did and you know it's kind of hard to describe being inside thomas super arena or these places but as a fighter when you first got there the first time what was your impression? Because I always try to tell people there's something in the air there when you're in yeah. that arena, but I don't know what it is. I can't tell you. I can't put my finger on what it is. It's just a something, you I'm know, like you. a vibe. 100%, man. You, you, and even this is even before the arena pulls up, like fills up. You walk in there and there's just something in the air in there. Like, I mean, you walk in and get you, get you, get you, get, you, get a little hard on going right away, ready to go. It's there's there, there's just an energy to the place and it's, and then once the fans get there, I mean, you go out for the opening ceremony and all that kind of stuff, and the place is already packed, sold out crowd before the first fight even pops off, you know. And it's just there, the fans there, they bring so much of an energy to it. It's so exciting. And like, talk about Saitama. Like, I fought there on New Year's, and I'm thinking there as I'm as we're doing the ceremony, I was like, fuck, like this is this is like this is like this is where Fedor's won his belts. This is where Vanderlei's murdered people. You know, I mean, this is there's so much history in the game and like the style, like the fights that I grew up watching. And I wasn't a big I watched UFC, but I was always a massive pride guy. Loved watching that shit. And like, you're in there and you got Lenny Hart out there screaming your name with her crazy, like making 19 syllables where there's not any. <laughs> and, uh, you know, it's 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 just wild, man. And it's I don't know, man, there's something there's something magical about that place. And I, I love it. I I. I, I I fought at Madison Square Garden. It wasn't the real garden, but I can claim it. You know, fought at some big fought at some big arenas and everything. And it's there's just nothing compares to me to fighting in Japan. And it's, I don't know if it's just that like the real, you know, the 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 game as we know it today kind of began there or what it is. But it's like they that place is wild. That's the best that's the best way I can put it, man. You get you get off that bus at Saitama and you're walking in, and it's you can't help but kind of feel like you're a part of something there. I guess it'd be the best way to put it, you know. Now, when when you fight there, where do where do they have you staying at? Do you know like what part of Tokyo they have you staying at? I stay uh, so I stay in Isibu, out in um, out where they make all that gin out in Isibu at the uh, Tokyo Westin, generally. Uh, 